Okay, back from Sunny being up to no good. Yeah, she was trying to get inside the buckets. <laughs> okay, the 24th of November. She goes again. Oh my gosh, she's on a mission. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that's what she's doing, trying to get in buckets. I tell you, she's got a fascination with them. Okay, we've got a fraud at uh, Van Buren Street. Reporting being blackmailed over Gmail. Officer responded to report. <sighs> Lots going on. Stray animals. Older chocolate lab running around. Has a red collar. Officer responded. No one unable to locate. Darn it. Non-injury accident. Wastewater treatment. Two vehicle. Not blocking no injuries. No report. Hmm. <laughs> Can you guys hear that? Uh, uh, missing person. He's probably getting water all over the floor. Uh, West Pullman Road, Police Empire Mall. Elderly female with dementia has been missing for over an hour. Last seen looking for a restroom. No report. Oh, I just have to have a big heart for those kind of things. Oh my goodness. Traffic violation on North Main Street and Brent Drive. Complaint of a traffic violation. Just as simple as that. Officer survive. Oh my god. Did you guys hear that? <laughs> oh, Sunny. A theft. West Pullman Road. Walmart. Shoplifter in custody. Officer responded. Report taken. Wow. Nabbed him, huh? Caught him red-handed. Oh, I... Oh, she dumped over that other thing of water. I bet she did. I better go check. Hold on. Uh, yeah, she's playing. There's like a little teeny bit of water left in the bottom of the bucket. And she's just like, she gets mesmerized by things like that. And she sits there and she looks at it and she'll put her paw on there and try to get it to move. And if it moves, she jumps back. <laughs> it's so funny. So I just left her in there to play with it. So if you hear anything, that's what's happening. Okay. So we did the Walmart one. Civil calls. 300 block of North Washington. Property manager needing to get into a tenant's apartment to make sure the heat is on due to freezing temperatures this coming week. Um, officer responded, no report. So that's interesting to me. So I wonder, okay, I've got a lot of a lot of wonders about this one. First of all, when I think of property manager, I think of Kane, right? Because he is the property manager for all of the King Road LLCs. And the one who was, you know, supposed to be the one fixing stuff at the, at 1122. And keeping the lawn taken care of, which was never taken care of from what I've seen in any of those um, body cams. Same with any of the other um, houses, you know, um, the King at Road, or the LLCs. None of them were taken care of. Just terrible. And the, the roofs, oh my god. I mean, it is a, seriously, those houses, and oh, shit, look at 1122, all the wires on the outside. Those are like electrical, those are, you know, fire hazards. They're, um, you know, caving in like the roofs on some, on those little overhangs. Well, that deck looked like it was about ready to fall down. So, yeah, so not very good property manager in my opinion. Uh, you know, especially with, you know, they are your, your, um, bread and butter those the students you know and yeah they just chaps my heart there we go again but so this one makes me wonder why would a property manager feel the need to contact the cops to get permission to go into a tenant's apartment to check on the heat so it makes me wonder a couple things. First of all, they can't get a hold of the person, so they want to have a, you know, maybe an officer there, you know, to, you know, while they go in or whatever, just to get permission, you know, for backup, whatever, or, or they've been instructed, maybe there has been something in the past where they've done this and they've been instructed to not do that anymore and to call for assistance, possibly. I don't know. It's kind of interesting to me. Anyway, other law enforcement calls. RP wants to talk to an officer about him possibly having a warrant out of Moscow. Huh. 
brave soul brave honest maybe stray animals 200 block of north line street brindle pit mix running around has a green collar on officer responded unable to locate no report traffic hazard south jackson street south main street reporting a light at jackson is very slow and not normal they got a lot of issues out there with lights Makes me wonder who's who's like studying electrical at the university <laughs> and who's practicing on the lights out there on the grid, man. That would be scary. I uh, got a scam, 1800 block of Victoria Drive. Believes he's being scammed over the phone. Well, then you probably are because a lot of other people are. No report though because we don't care about you. Harassment, 1600 block of South Main. Wants to talk to an officer about online harassment and impersonation of an attorney. Wow. Officer contacted. No report. Huh. Wants to talk to an officer about online harassment and impersonation of an attorney. Makes me wonder if it's like a... Uh, someone who knows something. Put it that way. A witness that, you know, at best. Wow traffic violation. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time they've had these harassment crap with attorney and FBI and who else has been, you know, seriously, out of line, just out of line. Traffic violation, East D Street, North Howard. Complaint of traffic violation, officer responded, a new report. Disorderly conduct on Paradise Drive. RP, a reporting party, Reporting neighbors screaming and yelling because of barking dogs. I don't know if I've heard that on Paradise Drive before, but interesting. Uh, suspicious person off Republic of Maine reporting a subject pointing at green laser into vehicles as they drive by. What a jerk! Wow, that could seriously blind someone, you guys. That is crazy, and you can't see after that like that. Like you know, people that point them at planes, and I mean, planes go down because of it. That's a serious, serious, uh, yeah, violation. Bad. I mean, it's, I don't know if they can, they, with planes, I know they can actually, like, you know, just nail you to the wall on those things. So we've got a domestic dispute off 1400 block of South Mountain View Road. Uh, let's see this. Same old Mountain View there. Must be a big area or something. I don't know. There's a lot going on out there. North and South. Um, male heard male yelling, then loud female scream. Officer responded, no report. Dang. Those reports like that scare me. This really do. Okay, so we are on to what is this the twenty fourth? Okay, the twenty third, and then we're done. Well, let me see. Because I did the twenty second. I did all those in one big lump sum. I might actually go back and do those separately. Um, we'll see. I was kind of having a day that day, so I know they're really quickly read, so, and I like to do them separately anyway, so I might just do that. I felt like I was laying down on the job or, you know, like slacking or whatever, so I was like, I better get some police reports out. <laughs> uh, shame, shame on me. Okay, on to the next one. Thank you. Yeah, give me some questions. Give me some, um, um, what is the one I was curious about? Oh, the laser one. That one, like, that's nuts. Just nuts. And what about all these harassments and scams on the phone and the light traffic lights? I don't know, it was a movie or something I watched one time about. I don't remember what movie it was. Where they took hold of the grid, the whole um, traffic light grid. Do you guys remember a movie like that? Oh, this is the one I'm curious about. The property manager one. That's the one I want to know about what you guys think. Definitely. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, later.